strong with the regular season, hopefully keep a, a championship uh, alive. We'll see what happens down the stretch, but we got to control the things we can control. And I know we're about to play a highly motivated FAU team coached really well by Coach Taggart. Um, it is a tough place to play at FAU, and I know they will be ready for us and should be a really, really good competitive game. So it's uh, you, you want these kind of games late November. Um, you want to be playing for something, and we have a lot to play for, as do they. So it should be a really good game. With that said, questions? I wonder if Coach kind of had some time to digest the game against Auburn now. You know, what are your overall thoughts with Saturday's performance? Uh, you know, a lot of good things, obviously, but the second half, uh, offensively, we just kept stalling out. I thought they played good defense. The second half did some did some things that kept it kept us moving the football. Um, obviously, the the disappointing was we had the third and five right there in field goal range, and we ran the speed option, and you know the ball got pitched on the ground, and next thing you know, it's fourth and twenty something, and you're out of field goal range, and that kind of took the air out of us. And, it would have been nice to see, you know, even if we don't convert, we get to make the kick. Now it's 27-20, and I think it changes your mindset defensively. I thought our defense held on and did a, did a really solid job for most of the game. But, you know, when if you're not scoring offensively, it gets hard on the defense. They get wore down. And so, you know, we learned a lot from that game. And, and um, you know, they're a good football team. and. Um, we got to rebound this week. You know, we got to go back on the road this week. I expect FA, FAU is just as good as Auburn. I mean, I, I've, watching them on film, they are a very talented football team. It will take everything we have to go win the game. Uh, so we can take away a lot from this loss from Auburn, try to fix the problems that we had, and hopefully make them right at FAU. Coach, you know, when you have a game like that, you know, you start off strong for a half, and then, you know, it's a couple of plays you play in the second half. How do you keep Well, I, we've never had that problem here. Um, you know, guys have a lot of pride and honor, and they, they always play hard. And um, I spoke to them after the game and said, hey, I'm proud of you. You competed hard. We know what the problems were. We know what the mistakes are. Uh, we'll get them fixed this week. And, you know, I'm looking in all those players' eyes and their staff's eyes, and they're right there with me. They, they get it, you know. So um, there's really – Nothing more you take away than the lessons that you need to learn from the game, the mistakes that you make. You learn from those and hopefully you fix them. Coach, so, as you said, this is going to be a highly motivated FAU team looking to, to get their own bowl eligibility. 500 is record. I mean, they, they, their results have been kind of uneven. What do they do well? What are they concerned? Well, first of all, they play well at home. You know, I think they're four and one at home. You know, um, their only losses to UCF, I think, at home. Uh, so they play extremely well at home. And, and um, you know, they had a tough loss last week, had to come up to Middle Tennessee, and Middle Tennessee was kind of the same way. You know, they were, they were competing for bowl eligibility, and they knew that was probably their best shot. And um, so I expect to get what Middle Tennessee was, you know, how they were, that from FAU. So, you know, we got a mature football team, and, I, and they'll match that intensity. And we, like I said, we got a lot to play for. Um, and so, you know, they, they're they a really talented football team, really talented football team on both sides of the ball. Uh, quarterback's really talented. Running back's really talented. The receiver number one's really talented. They play good defense. Uh, so it's going to probably be our biggest test of the season. And you want to end the regular season in the right way. And so that that's our main goal is, you know, again, we got a ton to play for. and. Um, you know, we want to we want to get this last one, and as do they. I, I expect it to be a four quarter game all the way down the stretch. You know, obviously, you, you want to worry about the game that you're playing, but you know, with the thought of the conference USA championship still within grasp, and the thoughts in the back of your mind, you know, does that play uh, into effect at, at all this week with you know players? Keeping oh yeah, yeah, it does. You don't talk about it much, to be honest with you, because you know. All you can control is what you control, and you got to control winning the game. So uh, all we need to focus on is winning our game, and the rest will work itself out, you know. And uh, so I don't want to look past, you know, if, if this happens or that happens, you know, there's a lot of dominoes that have to fall there. But um, I'd like to walk away from the game saying we did all we could do to, 
to give ourselves the best chance to, to be in that championship game. And, uh, you know, the saying, like I've been saying, what you do in November, they remember, you know, this is the last regular season game. So I, I want to make sure that win, lose, or draw, we are playing the brand of football that we are capable of playing versus a tough road opponent that we are going to get their best shot. And so that's the biggest thing for me, as I want to walk off that field on Saturday and say, hey, we, we played our best brand of football today, no matter what happens. And uh, the rest we, is out of our hands. Coach, uh, when it comes down to the run game, you know, wasn't necessarily the strongest against Auburn, and it's been by committee recently with the recruit to Broke Show. Uh, do you see that continuing going into this week against FAU? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think we'll roll running backs. I think they all have different skill traits. Uh, this is another good run stop defense, in my opinion. They're big physical front. Um, you know, we got to continue to press the run in there. You know, I, I'm okay with two yard runs. That's okay. It helps the passing game, you know, but um, we can't allow people just to play drop eight coverage and all those things. And I think we've done a nice job all year of, of mixing in the run and, and having some balance there. But um, I like our running back group. Uh, and so we'll continue to be kind of that running back by committee group. You know, Coach, uh, Josh Simon had two catches for two touchdowns. You know, he's kind of become a big red zone target for you guys. But how do you guys uh, get him more involved offensively? Because I feel like he hasn't gotten as many touches. Yeah, before. you know, um, we, that's something every week we're, we definitely work on. It, it's, you know, sometimes it's hard um, to even when you're trying to create plays for Josh or for Joey as well. But we got two really good tight ends. Um, it, it's hard at times. You, you, you want the ball to go to them and the coverage dictates where the ball goes. And, you know, fortunately in the last game, Josh was able to get some good touches and, and he did his thing and made the most of it. And, you know, we'll, we'll do the same thing this week against FAU. How, how can we position the tight end to, to make his plays? And, um, you know, and we'll just, we'll just go from there. But he's always on our mind. Him and Joey are always on our mind. We're always trying to put them in positions where they can make their plays. Coach, you guys, uh, again, didn't have any problem moving the ball against Auburn, but uh, red zone, as you said, uh, kind of stalled a little bit. Uh, was, that, was that their personnel, or was that some adjustments they made that, that really kind of stifled? No, I think, you know, we uh, probably a little bit of everything. You know, they play good defense. There's, there's, you know, in the short and yardage down there, and there's a lot less grass to work with, you know, it gets tougher, you know. and. Uh, you know, we went for a couple fourth downs that didn't work out. Could have, you know, tried to kick the field goal. And I just knew field goals weren't going to win the game there. You know, so if we, you know, if I was going to lose the game, I was going to lose it with the player, the best player having the ball in his hands, and, and that's our quarterback. So um, those fourth downs didn't work out for us. But, you know, we've had our ups and downs in the red zone this year, you know. And when you play a good Auburn football team and, um, you know, you get into those third and longs and fourth and longs down there. Those are those are hard things to convert. But um, we'll go back to the drawing board again this week and, and see if we can fix them. Of course, Coach. Um, you know, Conference USA performance. You know, the the championship still is on the line potentially. A lot has to go in your your favor. But um, what does it mean to have that still on the line and, and you know setting up you guys for the well, you always want to be playing for a lot in November, like I said. And, um, you know, there's a lot to play for in this game. And so, you know, we, we got to control what we can control, and that's winning this football game, and the rest will play itself out. And we'll see if we're in that championship game if we win. But the only thing we're talking about right now is beat FAU, you know, and the rest is in God's hands. But. Uh, you know, we're not looking past that to say all the what ifs. It, it's really just about FAU right now. Anything else for all right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.